Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the second news selected from today's dawn. Mining firm moves code for Rikadek Award enforcement. ADP office says government is contesting the proceedings while it is also trying to settle the matter amicably. <clears throat> by Nasser Iqbal. Islamabad, in a major development, the Hidayan Copper Company, and TCC, has approached the High Court of Justice in the Britain, Britain, uh, Britain Island, BVI, for enforcement of the July 12, 2019 dollar 5.97 billion award against Pakistan by International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, ICSID, in the recorded case. The Office of the Attorney, Attorney General for Pakistan, ADP, says that the government is vigorously contesting these proceedings uh, with all legal resources available to it and is also engaged uh, to settle the matter amicably. On November 20, the TCC had moved the BVI High Court for enforcement of the award, which includes attachment of the assets belonging to the Pakistan International Airlines Investment Limited, a company incorporated in BVI. In response on December 16, the BVI High Court granted a stay order ex party without hearing Pakistan, but the government will context the case when it will be taken up again on January 7, 2021. The information about the attachment proceedings and the order of BVI High Court was communicated to Pakistan on December 23. Without prejudice until the engagements, a statement issued by the Office of the AGP says, Pakistan has reiterated that the government will vigorously pursue proceedings initiated by the TCC in any jurisdiction. The government reaffirms its commitment to protecting national assets. Pakistan is also in the process of engaging a legal counsel to contest the attachment proceedings. The ICSID tribunal had taken up the dispute between Pakistan and the TCC, which had claimed $8.5 billion for rejection of its application by the mining authorities of Balochistan for the multi-million dollar mining lease in the province in 2011. Earlier, Pakistan had taken The plea before ICSID that the agreement mining license for Rikadik was procured through corrupt means and therefore the claimant TCC could not ask the damages, ask for damages. On September 18, the World Bank funded tribunal state enforcement of the award against Pakistan but with the condition that it would furnish irrevocable bank guarantee for 25% of the total amount of the award from a reputable international bank based outside Pakistan. Later in November, Law C60, a website that deals with the news and analyzes on legal developments including litigation, litigation filings, case settlements, etc., 
had reported that the copper mining joint venture had been given green light to try to collect 50% of the massive award against Pakistan. But Pakistan is also actively engaged in negotiations with the parties involved in the Rukhidik dispute as representatives of the country and the TCC had met in London in October 2019, where they had agreed to remain open for a negotiated out of court settlement of the dispute. Earlier, Pakistan had welcomed a statement issued by William Hai, chairman of the TCC Board of Directors, in which he had expressed willingness to work towards a negotiated settlement. Mr. Hayes had stated that the company remained willing to discuss the potential for a negotiated settlement with Pakistan. Then Pakistan had taken the stand that it had considered the July 12, 2019 press release is issued by Anto Fogasta, Anto Fogasta PLC, a Chilean mining company, which is part of the joint venture, and the statement of Mr. Hayes, in which he had expressed willingness to work towards a negotiated settlement. The government of Pakistan welcomes this approach to work to, towards a mutually beneficial solution that works for both sides. Then Pakistan had taken this stand, adding it was a responsible state and its government always took its international legal obligations seriously. Pakistan had also stated that the mineral resources in Rikodik were collective resource of the people of Balochistan and Pakistan, and the country was keen to develop this resource to ensure that the development needs of some of the poorest people on the planet were addressed. The TCC is a 50-50 joint venture of Barry Gold Corporation of Australia and Antofagasta PLC of Chile, whereas the Rikodek area in Balochistan is famed for its mineral wealth, including gold and copper. In the end, the formal request Please, if you have not yet, subscribe our, our channel and press the bell button to get the press from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.